All right, you have been watching Democratic congressional leaders Chuck Schumer on the Senate side and Hakeem Jeffries uh, on the House side, their side uh, of what's happening in those negotiations. A, a bit, um, I don't know, less pointed than uh, what we were hearing from the Republican side, trying to, it, it sounds like, make it make it seem like we're get, getting closer together uh, than, than what we were hearing from Kevin McCarthy and Mitch McConnell. But let's get back to the panel uh, right now. Uh, Alejandra Grindahl, uh, on this, I don't know, it, it seems like they're still pretty far apart, and maybe investors should expect this to run down to the wire because it sounds like they're looking for who's to blame if this doesn't come together quickly. So what should investors expect? How are you positioned on this one? Uh, it's a great question, and it was nice to be able to listen to those comments because I would say there are two key takeaways. Um, one good news, one bad news. To start off with the bad news, to your point, I don't think there's going to be a resolution until the X date. So for the time being, I think markets are going to be a little worried and jittery until we hear an actual, actual result. In terms of the good news, so I always have to put that in, um, I liked how pretty much both McCarthy as well as Schumer mentioned that debt default was off the table. Um, so it's good that that understanding is there because as we know, that wouldn't be good for the economy. It wouldn't be for the globe, wouldn't be good for the global economy, potential, potential financial risks. And the comment from McCarthy about, you know, we have to pay off our debts. Well, if you look at where the trajectory, according to the CBO, of where a lot of the government spending is going to see the growth in, it's actually in interest payments. And so if we default on our debt, I can't see that number actually getting any better. So at least if there's an ounce of good news, there seem to be broad agreement that the debt default um, is off limits, at least for now. Yeah. Adam, I want to get your reaction to what we've just heard, the fact that we are seeing these debates. We've got, what, 15 days left. Consensus right now in the market is that a deal is going to get done. In the meantime, I saw an interesting note today that maybe a savior for retail spending has been the unexpected source of T-bill interest that is uh, helping to boost savings for some consumers right now, as we have seen shorter duration uh, treasuries paying more in part because of some of the angst of the recent past several weeks. Yeah, I think I think the tone coming out of this meeting was certainly, um, you know, a little bit more conciliatory than we've been hearing. It does sound like there is movement towards a compromise. There have been reports about how Democrats in the White House are entertaining some of the work requirement demands from Republicans, um, and the Republican perhaps were, um, you know, moving a little bit away from some of the more draconian spending cuts they were demanding. Um, so definitely, you know, some progress in the meeting on the tone. You actually did see CDS costs on five-year CDS on U.S. Treasuries come in a little bit today. So I think the market feels a little bit more relaxed about this topic. Definitely coming right down to the wire, unfortunately, um, you know, two weeks until June 1st, which could be the X date. Unclear when the precise X date is, but obviously we're coming right up to that deadline. Um, you know, but a little bit of movement in, in the right direction coming out of this White House meeting.